So the question is, how do we get from this? this. Well, if you stick it down guys, I'll show you the process. First job was to do is to take out the silicon seal. The best method for me is a craft knife like this fully extend the blade like that and what that does is when you lay it against the tiles and apply pressure it actually flexes so it stays flat against the tiles and will not damage you know um, same with the bath you can lay that bend it upwards flex it again I'll try and demonstrate that just now um, and just run it along same again on the tiles dig it in flex it against the tile and run it along Let's do this little bit here to show you. Yeah, so if I'm a knife along there, um, you tend to just sort of flick it out like that. Pull it off and it reveals that. Obviously it leaves a little bit of residue in the bottom, but what you use there is then a, a scraper like this, which is a flat Stanley blade. So then you can lay that again flat in the bath without scratching it and I need to renew this blade actually but I'll show you to give the idea. You just run it along like that and you can see the, the residue just curling up. That's it. So just take your time doing that along the tiles, along the bath. That's it done. There's nothing complicated about it. That's it. It's the best way to do it. Okay, so literally two minutes later, that's the seal off. Right, so if we're taking the, the grout out of the tiles, yeah, this is the, the secret weapon and the tool for the job is the DeWalt multi-tool. Um, and on here we have a diamond blade, specially designed for taking grout out of tiles. Uh, the grout line in these tiles is quite quite small, it's probably about two millimetres, so what we do is use a quite a thin blade here, so I think that's I don't know, a mil, one and a half mil. And what we'll do is run it up all the, the grout lines. <laughs> Okay, so for grouting, you normally get two types of grout, which is the pre-mixed, ready-mixed stuff. This is fix and grout, which I, I'll, I'll never use for grouting, so you don't get that good a finish with it, in my opinion. I just bought this for handiness, you know, for reattaching those tiles. This is the one I use. I, I normally use MAPI, or MAPI, whatever you call it. It's a powdered grout, which I'll mix up in this tub. And to apply the grout, I'll use, it's important to use a rubber float, like this. And equally important is our actual a grout sponge. You could use a normal sponge, but you, you tend to find with normal sponges that square edges like that. Where a grout sponge differs is it's got rounded off edges, edges, if you can see that. So basically when you're wiping the tiles, the rounded edge stops the, you know, pulling the grout out of the joint again. 
Okay, so I've just got out with this small section here. This is at the rear of the bath and just a little bit on the, on the side. So what I tend to do is work in small sort of metre or two metre squared areas. Um, it's got all the grout in. Um, I don't know if you can see a little haze developing. I don't know if this will pick up, but you can see a little haze developing there now. So, you know, it's nearly ready for the sponge just to come over for the first for the first wipe, if you like, and work work any grout and smooth it into the joints. And um, once we've done that, I'll leave it another ten minutes, and um, there'll be the grout in all these tiles while this is drying, and then I'll give it another wipe. Um, that, that's the process, really. Right, so just giving the tiles an initial wipe over. Um, you know, the grout's starting to set now, so we're just going to just in small circles like that, small areas, and smooth smooth the grout lines. Right, that's the whole shower area grouted. What I've done, I've grouted the whole lot and I've given it a first initial wipe with the sponge, you know, just take off the excess. So I'm going to leave it a good 10-15 minutes now just to, to let the joints settle, let the, the grout start to dry. Um, then we'll give it a final final wipe. Let that dry out of haze and then we'll just polish it up, polish the tiles. Okay, so for buffing tiles, I use, there's a product here from Vitrex. Um, it's basically just a plastic pad where you get four different you know, grades of, it's basically like a scotch rate pad, and this is for buffing tiles. So I'm just in the kitchen here, um, I've actually regrouted these as well. I don't know if this camera will pick it up, but I don't know if you can see a haze. You see the mark here on my finger? That's just the haze of the, the tile grout. So what these do, just, you just rub it gently. Like that, and you, these two tiles will be really, you know, polished and shiny. I don't know if you can see that. I think you can. You can see the, the shadow of the window over there. Well, this one's fairly matte, you know. So there's a difference. So that's what we'll do in the bathroom tomorrow, once everything's dry. Right, so I've just buffed these tiles here, so you can see the reason I'm not going to do it in the bathroom. Obviously, I've just sealed the, the bath. You can see the fine dust that comes off. I don't want all that falling onto the new silicon, so... Hence the reason I haven't done that. Right, I gave the tiles a second wipe down, so pretty much they're done now. It's just a case of buffing off the haze, you know, once it dries completely. Uh, so we've got the, I just decided to do the silicon sealing uh, today, so it's uh, set for tomorrow, and then I can buff all the tiles. Um, obviously before you do your silicon seal, you three quarter fill the bath to weigh it down. Then you put your seal in, let it go off, you know, for. 12 hours, 24 hours, whatever it is, um, and then you can let the water out of the bath. Yeah, the reason you do that is because if you seal the bath when the bath's empty and then you do fill it or somebody stands in it to have a shower, it can stretch the, the silicon and, and break the seal, which will cause a leak. Uh, so that's it, it's all done. That's all regrouted. Right guys, so that's a completed Regrout of the tiles and reseal the bath. Um, see up there. The grout's just slightly wet there, just because I was obviously wiping away the, the dust and I was polishing the tiles. But it's turned out fine. I think I'll give these another buff, and that's it. Right, not a terribly detailed video, guys, but hopefully it gave you a, an overview of the processes involved or the processes I use. Um, I don't think there's a right or a wrong way to do things, but this is the method I use it, and it seems to work quite well. Cheers. Right, well, hopefully you found the video of some use. Uh, it's not that detailed, as you, you probably saw, but uh, it outlines the process that I use. Right, guys, well, thanks again, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.